I'm a sad. Six months later. Oh my, the red lipstick murder. Super loud. Why are you so loud, game? Sorry, that's super loud. Turn you down a little bit. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Slide rose at the homicide. Yeah, center. I think the game's really well done. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a cheer. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. They should. I I'm guessing they Your probably first will at some case stage. Is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Someday you'll say something intelligent. I've been in this job 20 years. I never... Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. I swear, this is going straight, 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 straight to hell. Nice day for it. Has that just been paid look about him? Uh, you got a problem? How? Oh, new car, I know. happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, folks. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Right, I've got here, I know it. How about a scoop for the 
Examiner, Galloway, you could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Hmm. Oh. Make it, lady. Cover your eyes. Oh, I thought I found something. I didn't. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but... Nothing like this. <laughs> it's uh, known locally as the morgue. Yeah, she's You're dead, Pradoffel. She's yes, been murdered. No one's disturbed the body. No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Was she dragged? It looks like she's been dragged. Can't be the one used on the body. Not no not L or no. Murder weapon? I doubt it. No. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Steal a table lighter. Hmm.
So how are we all today anyway? Has the scene been secured? The Troman Hulahan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stalled. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Hmm. Missing wedding ring, possibly? Hmm. Interesting. What's the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. I guess we're heading to the Bamba. Bam, bam, Bamba. Working evidence in BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us alone in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stupid. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So, Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. Whoa! You make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You have found him. Any central unit, car 16 Adam reports a possible jumper at 8th and Hope, the Methodist Church, unit to handle code 2 identify.
Oh, we nearly lost it there. I can't jump in this game. Amber Club. I got a call back for that Universal Forest line. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. I do text to the retreat. here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? We can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. You gonna see your married man again? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Sure, I know her. She and I are going to pay for that. I need Jacob a text to retweet as well, man. She was here last night? Sure, she's a uh, regular. Selena's. That's the spirit. Was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Selena already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Selene on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stow the attitude, will you? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. 
asked him to come pick her up like usual, but he refused. As she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Hmm. So, uh, how's your turn to fish salad? A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Let's get out of here. Ronnie. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. Doesn't look like anything. Let's uh, make a little phone call, shall we? Operator, give me dispatch. Search for a telephone. Phelps, 1247. I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2-boy-8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. I got a call back for that Universal Chorus line. Find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job with a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze. Right. <laughs> There's a bird like yeah, well, sitting on my window. Kind of wondering what the shadow was in the out of my eye. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Hey, this officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive, 211 in progress and shots fired. Enter to handle code 3, identify. <laughs> This woman. You nearly got me down. No, it didn't. Right. Go home.
I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Oh. Never a good sign this. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Hmm. for a lady. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> If you sober up, you can find so me at apartment two. Obviously having problems. Hmm. Seems to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being a husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. What is this? Nothing significant. Oh, it must be our door. Nothing down there. In the wardrobe. Nothing. stuff is junk might explain the missing ring oh probably nothing probably not a regular Amelia Earhart per day the ring looks distinct The ring is huge. Oh, come back. A family burnt to death. See the story behind the headline. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Slayer Jim, thank you for the follow. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? Ooh, ooh. This is, um,
something. Nothing in here? No? No. Okay. I, I guess I can leave now then. Go speak to some of the neighbours, huh? Hi monster! Nice things man. There's nobody there. See if there's anyone over here. Hi, Lambo. Appointed with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan, Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, Officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. How's yourself? Oh, I've already asked you that. Guy. He you have to watch today. She went back <laughs> Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Hmm. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Where is he at now? All the way over there. This street crime location, hidden vehicle. That. Oh, Central Police Station. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the Bamba Club. And that's the crime scene. Here, she wasn't murdered very far from her home. Anyway, how do I get down here now then? Take a right and take the. Fourth left. Yeah. Jacob Henry had a no. Take a left and take the fourth right. He's looking more and more likely. Yeah, for my money, the rod keeps um. the house looking like that. So probably deserve. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Them breaks, huh? Jacob Henry's apartment. Going hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? 
They have the dramatic oh, my God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, uh... I get even the slightest hint mm. that you're a flight risk. Pal. I don't think this is any use to us. Good over, huh? Maybe. No. Do you think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you drive a gas chamber. He'll be back in here. Problem there is what to do about the old lady. This will be, huh? Seems irrelevant. See, I don't think he's did it. No, that. No. I'm gonna say it's maybe a self help group. Is he going, huh? Or has he just arrived? Eleven. Right. So he says eleven. The woman's foot was nine. Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. We get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. Came back here broke and struggling. She married a mechanic. Put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Is he telling the truth? I think he's you telling. Remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife.
You went to her house, you fought, you beat her, she left, and then you followed her. I left first. She tried to batter me with a frying pan. I had to slap her down. Understandable. I was wrong? So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. Did a neighbor see you? Did you talk to anyone? You need an alibi, Jacob. I don't have one. I was here. I listened to Amos and Andy on the radio, and then I went to bed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would carry all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a lush and a tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're gonna tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh. Oh, I forget how to fight. It doesn't look good for you, Jacob. <laughs> What a hit. What a hit. Call it in and get a squad car dispatch. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, bad twelve forty seven. I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2Boy8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. Hmm. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. What was he attempting there? Let me reverse onto the pavement and then drive on. Mendez Department, 11.31 a.m. Oh, and I've got a phone call. Sorry.
Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Getting phone calls. Sixteen, wasn't it? Yeah. Mendez, apartment sixteen. Sixteenth, fourth floor. Another knock and just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. What have we got here then? A key. This isn't what we're looking for. Are you sure? Eggs? No good to me. Eggs is not twelve, two dozen. That's impressive. Hi Caliber, how's things man? This uh looks suspicious. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? You think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheel. Mendez, stop right there! Alonzo. There's some friend. We'll never be able to keep up with him. Oh, he's got a car. Get out of there. And before the car blows up and kills us all. Right. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. 
Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Yeah, no, I, I've been sitting streaming here most days, anyway. Um, uh, what have you been busy? What have you been up to? Am I getting Watchdog? Yeah, I'll probably not get it on Tuesday though because I just don't have the money for it at the minute. But uh, I will pick it up once I get a bit of money again. <laughs> so. Uh, you haven't played uh, Wolfenstein or anything, have you? I've heard it's meant to be quite good. The Golden Butterfly. Female dumped in plain sight in the grass at the end of Hill Street. Hacks are all over it. Captain's trying to fend them off. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. Ah, you've been playing Kill Zone, yeah. Collie boy. You're heading to McGee Uni, which one? I think I know the place where they found the lady. It overlooks Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Resort, they have one called Rayan, don't they? In there and find the goddamn evidence. McGee Uni? Or am I thinking. You're from Northern Ireland, aren't you? If I remember correctly. McGee's in... Go rain, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Watch Dogs is looking good. Um, I've heard even the... The last gen, like the 360 and the PS3 versions are actually supposed to be quite nice looking as well. Where am I going? Up here? Where am I? I'm here. So down and then left. Okay. You did a decent job on the Henry case, Phelps. Not bad for your first time at bat. Thanks, Rusty. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's uh, one clearance under your belt. Now it's a new day with a new dead lady that needs our attention. No assumptions until we see the evidence. Hey! Oops. And she's up above. Right. See, I knew you were a fast burner, Phelps. You might get along after all. Yeah, while. that's what I was thinking. I had down there. I mate went down there for a while. So we did um, to do a course to get into uni, and then I ended up down in Coleraine. And now he's a cardiac specialist and heading over to Inverness at the end of the month. Uh, how do I get down here now? Through here. <laughs> I, I'm glad you've got your priorities straight, Jamie. <laughs> boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy has been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case. 
Fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that matter. you don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, but the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. <laughs> you, all seem to be you can get Daisy and live off ten beans on um, Daisy and in real life. Detective, It'd be sweet. I was first on scene. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. The family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. And you show me the body. It's under the pepper tree. This way. Under the pepper tree. So hey, what's going on over there? Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Oh, another naked lady. She is. Footprints. The stomping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. All right. Debbie Moeller. Oh, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Moeller by R and I? Back in a second. If the motive was robbery. Why not take the money? That's a good point. <laughs> I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. For a woman. The ring's missing again. A cut on the finger. Fourth finger, left hand. A wedding or engagement ring. Violently removed. Thank you very much for your help. Got zombie hands. like she was tied up it does at first but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too i think her watch might have been torn off missing jewelry them stop marks Detective, R&I says that Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Grab the husband, take him downtown and work him over. We could have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Oh, wait. I need to speak to your mom. Similar MO. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. 
Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Hmm. Wonder is there any other evidence about let me go search. Do we run about here? Newspaper. Maybe it. All right, Jimmy. Enjoy your uh, studying. I'll catch up later with you, mate. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me what's going on. So, hey, what's going on over there? that up oh it's all the way up there a long way to go right down to the end of the road takes second street and that will lead me straight to them Still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. He doesn't work out that way. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough. More than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the... Find the right road? Nope. Can you go through the tunnel? Married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Paul? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. All units, officer, detail. 211 and shots fired. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Yes, Gizmo. I, I must remember that. Do not kill the pedestrians. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, he's the next road over. Mother Residence, 1124. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. 
Thank you. Uh oh. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. He'll be back any moment. Just sit tight. What does the note say? Sit tight. Don't forget mom's birthday on the My partner will explain everything. 16th? It's back, okay? There's nothing to worry about. Looks like the 16th. A lemon. Not everything here is going to be relevant. A nice lemon. What does she make him with carrots, lemons, and cucumbers? Oh, is that cookies? <gasps> I want cookies now. The glass. Not sure this means much. Doesn't tell me anything. Well, open it up. It might. It might say in it, I murdered. Violin. A nice violin. Size of the shoes. It's oh size eight. No sign of a wedding ring. Watch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. What now? All right, talk to the girl, but easy does it. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? I could try. <sighs> when did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. I, I think she's... she's lying. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. It's a touchy subject with Daddy. Thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. Your mom and Dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. <sighs> he 
He's lying. I think your father was violent with your mother. I think they weren't very happy, and you should tell me, young lady. You may be the police, but you have no right to talk about my mom and dad like that. Oops. If you don't ask, you never find out. <laughs> they weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What did? Daddy, the police are room, here. Please, I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some kind of... Your wife kinda... was found murdered this morning. Found? What? The... But, but she only... We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. So you were here all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. You didn't go anywhere? No, I was here the whole time. You phoned in a missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out at dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Did your wife ever go out by herself? To bars? Nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? Now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it. I think you set this up, Hugo. I think you kicked up a fuss about staying home for an alibi. Then you followed your wife and murdered her. You're out of your mind coming in here, making accusations like that. Come out into the yard and I'll make you take that back, mister. Oh, oh. come on, son. Getting hostile with us is a very bad idea, Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. I don't think he did it. We should go back in there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. Two, we have motive of domestic violence, which probably goes for half the men in L.A. Three, we have no evidence tying him to the crime scene. Hello? Detective! Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. 
guy from the paper. Solve that big case. Step away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Okay, but no shooting. We need this guy to make the case. There he is. See him? Man, he's quick. Enough running, Hugo. Hands where we can see them. Jews, blood on them. This doesn't look good, Hugo. I can, I can get him booked in at Central Officer, then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, Detective. Mm. Is there someone you can call, Miss? I, I don't. What's a woman? You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Bakersfield and. Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. We ought to get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care of the kid. That's the guy. I hear he's an honest cop. Now there's an oxymoron for you. Galloway, Homicide Division, badge number 564. Go ahead, Detective. No, one, two, four, seven. We get Ray Pinker and a technical services team to a house at 130 North Bonnie Bray Street. I need an Send address on a Belmont High School. school. Look after a young lady. Checking for you, Detective. Roger, 11K. Belmont High, 1575 West 2nd Street. Thanks for your help. Okay. Got it, KGPL. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? He wants a five star Broadcasting I'm surprised, you know. I didn't make the husband for it. Always make the husband, fellas. Nine times out of ten, it's the closest person to the Vic who does the deed. God knows I've wanted to kill some wives in my day. Lex Parsimonii. What? The law of parsimony. Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is most likely the correct one. You know, you could have said that without getting all liturgical on me. I'll try to dumb things down from now on. Appreciate it. Try this one with us. Rusty's razor. How's that go? You blame the guy that's banging her. Ah, of course. The famous Lex Ignoramus. Closes cases, Cole. Puts a lot of people away, that one. Hmm. The Brown Derby. Rationing's over. We have to go. I told you, I can't Saturday. I'm busy. Busy where? You're going on another drive with Davy Gardner, aren't you? So what if I am? Go, Phelps. I'll take the car and see if I can cut him off. Where you gonna go, boy? You got nowhere to go. Oh wait, you do. Up the stairs.
Oh well, we got him now. Yeah, that's true, Darth. They definitely would be. I wouldn't mind catching up and tackling them, like, but... Who's asking? We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Name's Eli Rooney. You've been in trouble with the law before, Eli? Son. What are you doing around here? I like to keep an eye on the children. Strictly paternal, is it, Eli? Don't sass me, boy. A woman was abducted here last night, Eli, and murdered. And I would love to make you for that, you Loki motherfucker. Well, I wouldn't know nothing about that. A woman, you say? I like them a little younger than that. Turn out your pockets, Eli. Now, why would I do that? Because I'm about to break your fucking skull, Eli. Aha! You're under arrest, Eli. We're in very deep trouble. Get some backup down here, Rusty. We need to get this one downtown and into a cell. I'll tell them we got a kitty raper coming in. They can roll out the red carpet. Got yourself a golden brooch. Oh, it has. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. Eli Rooney. We've met him. Filthy son of a bitch. He was here yesterday before the dance. Was it him you saw park the car? I don't know, sir. I'd like to say yes, but the truth is it was pretty dark. Would you say Rooney is violent? Yes, sir. I would say so, yes. Thanks for your help. Ooh, look at all this. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. The rope? Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. Better go call Central, huh? Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the Watch Commander. Thanks. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Central Mark. Go speak to uh I say we the make coroner. money for this. I think we should lay it on him. Let's see what's he happening. Car, he had her jewelry, the DA will love him for it. Even if he didn't do it? Who cares whether he did it? You have kids, Phelps? He needs to be taken permanently out of harm's way. And we let Muller slide? For a while, he gets a free pass for now. Mm. These cops, huh? They're all crooked. All right, late. Oh, 
Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. No, I saw it. Was this one? <laughs> what are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats, mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. Where's my car? Look here, how are you, buddy? You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Central. <sighs> Not exactly the happiest of places, the coroner's office. Carruthers is a good man. Professional. Diligent. If you're working with a pro, it's easy to overlook the grim realities of a place like that. Funny job, that. The coroner's. How so? You know, you don't want them enjoying their work too much. The wrong kind of man can get awfully lonely rattling around a joint full of corpses. Rusty, that's like something out of the pulps. Been reading the same ones as me? I thought you were usually too drunk to get through a magazine. You know, if I close one eye and squint, you can just about make out the print. You better not go soft on me in here, Phelps. We're Are they ready? Bowler's in two and the pervert's in one. Get in there and get a conviction. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Oh. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in a wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes... I'll be dealing personally with him. I have faith in the Lord. Do you to live? I'll just review room two. I'm telling you, it'll never stick, and you'll get roasted. Oh. You were twice as smart as the other. Here's where we stand, Hugo. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Believe it. It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin him. We found your wife's car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Is he telling the truth? Is he? I don't think he is. 
It was you, Hugo. I'm offering you a chance to come clean on this. For the last time, I did not kill my wife. Do you know anything about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Do you know anything about braided ropes? Some. Uh, they're mainly used for um, mooring lines, hawsers, you know, that kind of stuff. We don't have much use for them in the machine shop. We use chain hoists. Your wife was beaten with a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. You're gonna die for this, Muller. Better give me something if I'm gonna believe your story. My conscience is clear. You can't badger me into admitting anything. I'm praying that those prints come through. So I can nail that son of a bitch. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. Can I take you down? Give me some more hands. Give it some more. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Yeah, I do. You're down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Is this a picture of your town? This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't miss this place. Big yellow letters, HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot. Felt like I was back in the pen wearing it. <laughs> you ever tie up any of your victims, Eli? It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talk about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. We. Barn boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid, tie hitching braid, stays tight. You killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight, and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. You're as good as done, Mr. Rooney. All it will take now is some paperwork. Where's the train? No, I'm younger. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. You trying to sit me down? Are you liquored up? I need to do this again, but I can't. Someone ought to take him home. He's loaded. Um, I'm praying that those prints come through. Do do not. Um. So I can nail that son of a bitch. Duty Sergeant. You really think I'm gonna steal? No way. Um.
Nope. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one way. I didn't even see him. Captain's not there. I think I'm messed up. I'm not saying another thing until I've seen an attorney. Am I looking for? If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. Eli Rooney, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. I think it's the yellow guy that did it. Stop. Ah, uh, Phelps, Galloway. Congratulations are at hand. Drink, boys? I think you'll receive a commendation for this one, gentlemen. In the meantime, I'll speak to the DA about expediting the passage of the case. We need swift and merciless justice for poor Deirdre. Well, I don't think I failed the case. Phelps, we captured two regular army. Lieutenant, Phelps, we've been over this. That sniper barely missed you back on the beach. Until the mission is over, there'll be no more saluting or signs of rank. I'm in charge here, Medier. Do you wish to interrogate the prisoners? No, they're beat. Why do they look so sullen? They're wondering why we haven't killed them yet. There is no greater shame than being taken prisoner. Get this golden boy. I just seem to know what he's doing. See that boys? He slapped that Jap right upside the head. It was merely to remind him of his place. His shame was the tone of voice that he used with a superior. I respect the Japanese, Corporal. Respect, we're here to kill the sons of bitches. Do you know why we are fighting the Japanese, Private? With respect, sir, these yeah. bastards attacked Pearl Harbor. And why did they attack Pearl, Private? Because they hate the U.S. of A and our way of life. They attacked the U.S. because we cut off their oil. What would we do if another country denied us the gas to run our cars? Ooh. The Silk Stocking Murder. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. 
We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiends first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in the loose one. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sin. Oh. <laughs> awesome. All right. Up ahead, you make a right. You have the address? It's the alley off of Lisa between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky. Though. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah, it means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, though. Whoa there. Right. <laughs> yeah, we're not supposed to break things. I'm gonna end the stream because I have a few things to get done tonight and whatnot, so Yeah. I haven't had today, Alice, so I need to go to the shop and get some food. Um Go do something. What shall we do? We'll go raid. Let's go raid. Go raid some random person. Um, no, there's only six of us, there's no point. I will be back tomorrow, dub stage, so I'll hear from you all then. I might be streaming tonight, I'm not sure, because, um, usually Thursday night, Nilo and me play Dead Space 3. But he's been at work quite late the last couple of days or something, so he might not be back in time. So, if I'm not streaming tonight, I'll hear from you all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out, guys. It has been a lot of fun.